Athletes Ghost of Eight here, and we've got another Call of Duty video today exposing how horseshit, corrupt, and broken the Call of Duty video game franchise community system is. And these mother at Activision, at Treyarch, thought they could gaslight the Call of Duty community. They must have no respect, not think they do not. Let me correct that. They do not have any respect for us as a consumer because the amount of lies, gaslighting, and bullshit they try to peddle to us is absolutely astronomical. But this time, they got caught red-handed they got too carried away with their gaslight they got too carried away with their nonsense and the call of duty community totally called them out and they look like a bunch of liars and overall just pieces of shiza in den hosens now i made a video about this tweet yesterday <laughs> And I talked about how it was gaslighting and how they are trying to make up a bunch of nonsense for the horrible hit detection, net code, and perhaps my opinion, and a lot of you who watch my videos opinions, skill-based damage in which the actual damage profiles and hit detections are being controlled by AI, which once again, just want to reiterate for all the people out there who are in denial, all the Call of Duty shills, all your Call of Duty fanboys, there are patents for everything we have talked about or ever mentioned in any of my videos that some of you guys think are conspiracy theories. You're just a bunch, just a hater. It's a skill issue, Ghost of me. For all of you guys out there who are struggling with everything we've ever talked about before in all the other videos, it is an actual patent working against you. And Activision, Treyarch, Call of Duty, the franchise tried to lie. We exposed that yesterday and tried to put out some bullshit tweet trying to you know just explain away this huge problem and then to, just today this stupid tweet that they tried to put out tried to tell everybody about this this guy guys guys listen guys it's not the hit detection no guys it is the blood spatter that is showing up accidentally guys it's all in your head you imagine things they tried to pass off that line of shit and they got community noted like that's how bad Call of Duty is down right now. They're in a blender. They're cooked. They're fried. No one is falling for their nonsense anymore, except for a massive, huge, brain-dead Call of Duty fanboys. And that post, as you can see, got community noted, which is absolutely hilarious. I don't think I've ever in my entire life seen a Call of Duty post from an official Call of Duty account get community noted. We've identified an issue that could result in erroneous visual blood effects when damage was not actually dealt while shooting at enemies in all modes. <laughs> yeah. And then, like I said, community noted, there's a hit registration issue in Warzone. On the client side, it's displayed that shots hits enemies showing the visual effect of blood, but servers don't register them as valid hits. Therefore, the error lies in the unregistered hit and not on the visual blood effect effect but i also want to cover something that is very bad that could happen as a result of all this which could make the game even worse than it is now which would be like unexplainable how can they make something worse than what it is now i don't know anything worse than this would just be modern warfare 2 from a couple years ago that's one thing to get worse or vanguard i mean actually let me take that back vanguard at this point is better than black ops 6. so on their trello board here on their trello website they have it listed as a global known issue and they're actually not expanding anything more on it same thing they tweeted out but doesn't actually have any more information on it so at this point nothing being said or done but the community note on them is absolutely hilarious and embarrassing and the fact they just left the tweet up as well knowing that they got busted lying they know they got caught trying to manipulate and trying to gaslight us and they just leave it there what a group of pathetic losers now what's scary though what i was just talking about a little a couple seconds ago what can make matters even worse and what i think they're going to try to do because i don't think they can fix the problem because the problem of the issue is something that they they don't know how to deal with and that's why they're trying to lie that's why they're trying to make up things and trying to just gaslight us because the actual problems of the issue are either skill-based damage out of control net code problems hit registration problems server problems the game is absolutely broken and busted and they're trying to lie to us so the way they could rectify is because if they actually had a real fix for this they would have told the truth and said they're working on the actual problems instead of trying to lie and what their real fix they're probably going to try to do is just get rid of the blood splatter so it doesn't look as obvious when you're hitting people and bullets are not registering this is what happens when a corporation and development teams prioritize microtransactions and profits over actually providing good content and it looks as though 
and I know we've said this many times before in the past, and many other Call of Duty content creators and people in general have been saying this for a long time, that Call of Duty's dead, and then the sales numbers come out, and it is way through the roof, and the game keeps flourishing. But I think this is the beginning of the end for Call of Duty. It's just taken a long time for it to die out, but it could also be the beginning of Call of Duty and something new because something is definitely going to have to change. When an official Call of Duty account is now getting community noted on X or Twitter, it is a very, very seriously bad situation occurring. I don't think I've ever seen any development team from a AAA title game getting community noted for openly lying and trying to gaslight their community. I've never seen anything like this before. So this has to spur some kind of change. It seems like we're going through a cultural shift in society with things happening around the world politically. And I think that's what's happening with gaming as well right now in Call of Duty. I think a lot of people are waking up. You can see the views on people's channels exposing the horseshit, exposing all of the problems with this game and franchise and how much more popular that is now than just basic Call of Duty COD Shield content like open mouth thumbnails with the greatest meta weapon update or stupid ass streams of guys dropping 70 kills guys in my reverse boost to two block dumb dumb lobbies i'm so proud of the actual community has had enough of this nonsense has enough of this junk ass game and how it's being run and we're starting to speak up and i think things are actually going to change i think things are going to get better because black ops 6 as much as it was supposed to be the greatest game ever and is just supposed to be the best developer it dropped the ball the player count was only as high as it is because it was free on game pass which inflated the numbers the actual player count is going down the actual sales was down and the war zone itself as well which i haven't even touched on we only talk about mostly multiplayer on here when it comes to 6v6 and whatnot war zone is in the worst state it's ever been and the numbers on that are going down people trying to make content on war zone are dying less than two months after the game's been launched they're trying to figure out what they can do to try to get more views because no one gives a shit about that anymore because this game sucks and the development teams are trying to put their head in the sand and lie to people instead of actually being honest and when that happens happens two things are going to happen the game's going to die it's going to fall apart and the player base is not going to want to play it anymore or they're going to have to you know pick themselves up by their bootstraps and fix things and actually listen to the community and make a proper call of duty game and then things will get better personally i'm not trying to be pessimistic i think this game's going to shit i think it's done i think this is the beginning of the end and i don't think these people work on these games have the brain power or the skill and have too much hubris to actually realize they suck and they're making a horrible game so the call of duty developers Treyarch, activision getting called out getting exposed and the community has had enough of these assholes thanks for watching i'm the ghost of eight last but not least and most importantly stay black quest authority with the hard cracker until he shapes you after spill the movies right make it just seven levels into time to drive seven of the evil thousand five news fake house owners with hicks blood with red king white man bring it down